hoodies, one of the most important staples for layering and general warmth. It's a stylish, versatile piece, but man, can you look awkward real quick. Today, I'm gonna give you some reasons on why you might look awkward in hoodies based on my own experience and also provide some tips on how to look better in them. Let's get into it. Okay, the first reason, and a lot of people don't think about this, it's the way your hood is sitting. If it's lopsided or just layering all crumpled up, all you gotta do is fix it. Give it a good steam, adjust the hood so it's layering properly. This can be a struggle for more heavyweight fabrics, kind of like this hoodie right here. So I kind of like to always make sure it forms a collar right here and then the hood sits on the outside of it. This is going to provide structure and it just looks better overall. And so that's an easy fix that doesn't cost you any money and that you can do right now. Now the next reason is you're getting the wrong sized hoodie. How it fits matters, you should know this. So I feel like there's a universal spectrum to this and an area on that spectrum that you should probably stick to. So there are a few indicators to tell whether it looks awkward or not. And the problem lies when you size down too much or you go up two sizes way too much. Both do not look good at all. I don't care how much gains you've made or how loose it fits, they both can just be too much. So instead, you might wanna stick to a more slim fit hoodie or an oversized one. And I say get both, because some oversized hoodies can be too much fabric for layering in some jackets, and that's where the slim fit hoodie comes in for layering. And so with slim fit hoodies, I like to go for brands that are known for being more slimmer fitting, tight fitting, and then all I gotta do is size up one size. That way it's not gonna be super skin tight. Like this hoodie right here, this is a size large. Can you believe that? Let's compare it with another size large hoodie from a different brand, a more streetwear brand, and both have different shapes. And so if you're going for a more oversized hoodie, the best indicator to look for is one that says it's made to be more relaxed fitting. That way your true to size is a relaxed fit. So in this case, you could choose to size down for a more slimmer look. And if you want a more loose fit look, you size up one size. These types of hoodies, you can tell it'll have a drop shoulder. And that's what you wanna keep an eye out for for more oversized pieces. So definitely understand the brands that you are buying from. Take a look at the model, what size they're wearing, their height and weight. All of that matters, especially when brands state that this is meant to be more loose fitting or more slim fitting. Now let's talk about the hem of the hoodie. So if it's anything past the crotch, I think you're stretching it a little bit. This hoodie is definitely pushing it. So what you can do is just get it hemmed from your tailor, or you can just roll the hem since it's usually a few inches that you can knock off and that'll move the hem up your body. So it looks more proportionately satisfying. Now what I like to do to make sure it holds its place is to use some safety pins to pinch it on one side. This holds the hem there while providing a contrast in materials and you don't really need to do anything else after that. I would suggest you practice on a hoodie you don't care about. That's what I like to do and if it still looks weird in your eyes, definitely just extend your height by wearing a pair of boots. So this is going to give you a few inches and that'll offset how oversized the garment is. Now next up, you might just need something over the hoodie. This could also be due to the rest of your fit, but let's just say you have a solid fit, but it still looks kind of off. Usually an additional layer will solve the problem. And I'm talking about if you're trying to rock this hoodie on its own. So whenever I have that feeling, a sling usually does the trick. I mainly keep it simple with something black or a small pop of color. But one thing people tend to forget is the vest. So the vest is one of those those underrated items that was popping for some time during the workwear era, but you know, it kind of fell off, but don't worry about that. A vest still looks good when paired with a hoodie. You've got some nice texture going on without having to commit to a fully textured hoodie or an additional jacket. So I would definitely recommend getting a vest that matches the color of your hoodie. I think it's just a cool look. The vest feels like a part of the hoodie, but surely you could utilize some color to add some dynamic contrast to your fit. Like this vest right here from Lululemon, the sponsor of today's video. So what I absolutely love about this vest is just how it is constructed. The details really stack up to make for a quality piece. So first up, it's super warm. When paired with the hoodie, it's perfect for those mild, cool days. It's windproof and water repellent and very soft and fluffy. I feel like I could sleep on this. It comes with two inside pockets, one that's zipped and your standard inside pocket, an additional two outside zipper pockets, and heavy, robust hardware that just makes it feel really nice. Here, I'm pairing it with their full athletic sets of sweats and a hoodie, keeping it super casual, great for walking my dog, meeting up with a friend, or just chilling. And here it is paired with a more streetwear outfit. This is an incredibly versatile piece and definitely a staple for the winter time. Now this is for sure one of those holiday gifts I feel like any guy can appreciate. And right now Lululemon has a ton of scores for the end of the year and the holidays. And if you want to treat yourself or someone else, I think this is a great gift. Also that full sweat looks pretty good too. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, definitely click that link in the description. In full transparency, if you do make a purchase using my links, I do get a small kickback, which does go back to supporting the channel. If not, don't sweat it. Thank you, Lululemon, for sponsoring this video. 
back to it. Now up next on why you might look awkward in hoodies is its color or fabric weight. So these things matter. If it's super light, it just doesn't feel or look premium. You know, it just kind of looks standard and just flows too much. You want something a little more robust, heavy weights, but nothing too heavy to where it looks too droopy. And this especially happens when you go two sizes up. Like there's a difference between this hoodie color and this hoodie color, right? And that's why I always recommend going for something a little bit more muted, you know, something a little bit drabby and more sad looking. You know, I like to describe these hoodies with the phrase dusty. It's a good way of explaining it. If it looks more clay-like, you're definitely hitting the spot. Now, on the other hand, there are some really good saturated hoodies. You just gotta keep in mind its fabric weight and how it was constructed. This next reason I feel like is a no brainer. And that's just awkward phrases or designs. Like there are some cheesy ass hoodies out there. I like to avoid these types of hoodies in general, but if one speaks to you, definitely go for it. That's just personal preference. But for sure, you wanna avoid the ones that have a weird embroidered patches, the ones that just have an awkward graphic. And I would just follow your gut feeling, not just what I say or what other people say, because everyone's got their own preference. Now, if you actually want a graphic hoodie or something with a little more detail and nothing too plain, this is what I would always recommend someone. Go for a hoodie that has a story behind it that relates to you. Like this Breaking Burke hoodie describes me perfectly. I worked at the laser tag building where Breaking Bad was filmed. You know, side note, they actually filmed when I was working there for season five. And if you didn't already know, Breaking Bad is my favorite show. So this hoodie just suits me perfectly. Plus I love supporting local businesses. If you're ever in the ABQ, go to Old Town, check out the Breaking Bad store. For you, it might just be a hoodie from a national park or a city that you visited. But either way, there's a story behind that piece and it's going to make it much more sentimental. And you will definitely want to wear it off in much more than that free hugs hoodie you've been eyeing. And last but not least, you may just need to try on a zip hoodie. Sometimes whenever it comes to fashion, you just have to adjust one thing and it's gonna look really good on you. And this may be your thing. If a regular hoodie doesn't look good on you, I would recommend going for a zip hoodie. All right, y'all, I hope you guys found this video insightful. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And until then, stay fly, check out Lululemon, deuces.